So as I mentioned in the intro, I was, I'm a bass drummer, or was a bass drummer for many years. I'm also a bit of a geek, I'm a developer. So what kind of, that, that narrows down my focus on my users already. So I thought, okay, well, let's develop a drum application. I really like drums and I wanna be uh, developing on the iPhone, so what applications are out there? So I did my, followed my own advice and, and did a search on the App Store. Okay, what drum applications are out there? And there are a ton, right? There's a whole lot. And so I thought, oh, well, cool. Well, then the, that market's kind of over flooded. What can I do? All right, let's see. I'm a bass drummer and I'm a geek. I don't see any marching applications out there. So, aha, idea. So I came up with this application idea called Refit Bass, which is out on the App Store. And the basic premise of the application is that you have a bass drum line that you can tap on the iPhone and make a melody for a bass drum line for marching percussion. Um, I, I am my own ideal user because I walk down the street having bass drum melodies going through my head that I, I just want to hear live on the phone. So a couple of things that I want to emphasize though are when you start with this idea, once you get started, is you really want to narrow down and do the simplest thing possible. So when I started coming up with ideas of, okay, a bass drum line, what all do I want to do with that? Well, it's probably more than just tapping or splitting up six tuplets or doing all sorts of things, recording music, recording, um, outputting uh, the notes on a page. I don't need to do all that th things just to get started. Maybe that's where my app evolves, but not right now. Just to get started, I should do the most simplest thing. And the other thing that I've read a lot about that I actually didn't do and I wish I would have was actually a paper prototype of the application. And that simply means taking a piece of paper and drawing out what your app is supposed to look like and how it's gonna react. And then you know, flipping a page and doing the next screen and then playing around with how it's really gonna respond, right? It'll give you a lot of ideas and now all you've wasted is not money or time, but a couple of sheets of paper. And it really will help you flesh out your ideas.